Okay, I've had uh, a couple questions on this myself, um, and I just wanted to just put this out there for anybody that wanted to know. But um, learning the notes on the bass, uh, this also applies for guitar. Um, but right now I'm going to talk to you about bass. Learning the notes on bass is very important because um, what people do is they, they talk tab and they'll, you know, they talk in numbers. They'll say, yeah, seven, five, three, you know, or back to five. And they, they do a lot, of, a lot of tab talking, which is, which is okay. I mean, you can do that. But it's a lot easier on you if you just learn the notes. And it's really easy to learn the notes. Now, right over here, I'm going to keep the um, order of the notes and I'm going to uh, keep that on throughout the entire video and you can just write that down or memorize it actually write it down first and memorize it um, and you'll know that every note uh, it, it's just all the notes go in that order okay so let's say you open th uh, this is a five string bass so it's tuned B E A D G uh, the first string the first string on top right here it's uh, it's B Right? When you open open by itself, it's just it's B. So the first fret, according to this chart here, would be C, right? And then you keep going one fret down, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then back to A, B flat. And then if you did this correctly, the 12th fret should be B. Uh, you know you did it correctly when when you end up to the 12th fret at the 12th fret and it's the same note as when you you know had the open string and then you go from there you can go you know back to B and then C C sharp and it goes again um, and you do that and it applies to every string uh, you go you go open E right the second the second string would be on a, on a four string bass that second string would be a first string um, that's an E right so you go so F, F sharp, um, G, G sharp, back to A, B flat, B, and then C, C sharp, B, B flat, and then back to E. You know? uh, that, that should be, that is, that is going to be the most important thing you learn theory-wise. One of the most important things you learn theory-wise. Because, um, you know, when somebody says, yeah, you go 7, then 5, then 3. You know, uh, that's, but then you also have to say, oh yeah, you go seven, um, you know, verse string, because, you know, you might be using a four string bass. Then you go, you know, five on the second string, and then, you know, you don't really, just, you can just say, um, you know, you can count. This, this, is how, this is how you can do it, okay? This is how you can find the notes easier, instead of just starting out from up here, and going all the way down here, okay? Uh, you know that the open string is E, right? This I'm using the second string, I'm using the E string. The open string is E, right? And the twelfth fret is also E. So if it's easier for you to use the open and then count down up to the note using you know using the open string, then do that and use that order. Or you can go backwards from twelve, which is easier to do as well. So let's say I'm trying to find the seventh fret note on the E string, right? You go back to the twelfth fret, that's E. This is an E note. And then you go you go backwards. You go E flat. C sharp, C, this would be a B, right, this would be a B, um, so you check, right, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, right, so this is, this is a C note, or a B note I meant, you know, so, see, I'm, I'm even screwing up, so, yeah, again, check it out, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, so this is a C note, uh, same thing with, um, the 5th fret and the next string. Count down from the 12th. The next string is an A, so you go A, uh, then you go backwards. G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E, B e flat, D. So this is a C, this is a D. And then, this is the 3rd fret, it might be easier for you to just open string it. So you go, this is open, this E, and you go, you count up, and then E, or, or F, F sharp, G. Okay? So C, It's, it's, it's a lot easier. You can also just say C, go down one, G, D. G. You don't, you don't have to use tab talk and you know, say oh, 24th fret, uh, this string. You know, you can just say, you know, just go C. You know. it, it, and it's, it's the same order. And it's, uh, like I said, you can, you can talk in keys. You can say in the key of G and the key of A. Uh, you can talk in, um, you know, scales. You can, you know, you can, you can, uh, you learn the scales easier this way. 
Um, and it's just, you know, it's really, it's really um, easy to use. And it's, it's uh, just, just takes a little bit of memorization and things like that. Um, <coughs> another really, you know, kind of relevant thing on this is you sound a lot cooler when you talk in notes. Trust me, when, you, when you're talking in just random numbers, people do start to look at you a little weird about, you know, things like that, especially if they don't know what you're talking about musical instruments. But if you're, uh, you're talking notes, you're like, yeah, you have, you have the A notes, you can go down, you know, and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm going to jump down to the G note, you know you have a better, you know, an int more intelligent speech than if you were going to talk about, you know, yeah, you go to three, then jump down to five, then you're going to, you know, go back up one to go five, and people are like, what is he talking about? You know what I mean? Five. You know, it's a number. But, um, you know, take the time to learn this this much. This is basic theory. Um, also, another thing is people get this also mixed up sometimes, too, is uh, these, uh, the, the, no, the camera angles is moved. It's weird. Um... Yeah, so my phone rang and I had to stop the video for a second. But uh, the the notes, the flats and the sharps are also called accidentals. So you can you know say like G is the only key with one accidental and something like that. Accidentals, that's just all that, that means. And another thing is, uh, if you look at the chart, you see B flat. That can also be called A sharp. Same thing goes with uh, a lot of the sharps and flats. Is um, one flat could also be the next note sharp. You know what I mean? So um, or the previous note sharp. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, I mean, again, like, if people say, you know, yeah, A-sharp, well, that's not on the chart. Yeah, it is. It's just, uh, you know, you just substitute for the B-flat. Um, you know, same thing, use that same, um, thought, or same logic when you talk about other flats and sharps. But, uh, basically, it, just as a summary, if this is all confusing the hell out of you, uh, the notes on the instrument go in this order. It goes in this general order. And um, you can find anywhere, you know, on here. You know what I mean? And use the 12 fret um, method if you want to count down to a note. Or if you want to count up, use the open string method. Whichever one, you know. You go, you know, like I said, just E, um, F, F sharp, you can do that. Or you can say E and count backwards from the 12th fret. E, B flat, F, or, you know, E, B flat, F, D, you know what I mean? No F, sorry, I'm making mistakes. Um, but yeah, just use that use that theory, you'll be fine. Um, and same thing applies for guitar as well, uh, which you can find guitar ones all over, but this is the general bass theory. Um, hope that helped, and if you have any questions, ask me, and I'll answer them. Thank you.